What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell for me so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is gonna give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put any amount of money in that brokerage account, they're gonna give you up to 12 free stocks. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Question I've been asking myself over the last few days is, should I sell the dream house? I read an article a couple days ago talking about the real estate in the state of Florida and, and real estate nationally. And the article was talking about affordability. And they were also talking about median home prices and how middle-class Americans can't afford to buy real estate and what that is doing to the real estate housing market. In 2019, in the United States, on average, there was about 400,000 new homes constructed. Fast forward to 2022, there were about 65,000 new homes constructed huge difference and some of you might ask why is that interest rates see when interest rates increase guys to the point where people can't afford the monthly payment on a new home people don't buy new homes right that decreases demand for new homes or old homes or any type of home if people can't afford the monthly payment they can't buy that's one of the reasons also since the pandemic average home prices have went up about 40 percent average rental rates have went up by 24% just under three years guys and that is crazy now one thing that fueled the increase in home prices was what low interest rates remember back in 2020 2021 you could get a mortgage rate for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage for about three percent in today's environment, it's about 7%. So yeah, man, the landscape for the housing market has changed since the pandemic, right? In today's environment, we got 7% plus 30-year fixed rate mortgage interest rates. Average person cannot afford to buy a home, especially with average price for a new home is around $436,000. In 2019, it was, I believe, $316,000. So huge difference, right? If you're looking at a $400,000 home at a 3% interest rate, your payment is gonna be a lot less than a $400,000 home at a 7% interest rate. So the housing market has been affected by the increase in interest rates. And why have interest rates increased? Well, interest rates have increased because the Federal Reserve has increased the short-term interest rates, AKA the Fed funds rate. And indirectly, the short-term rates affect long-term rates. Here's, where I'm, here's what I'm talking about. 
when you're looking at short-term interest rates, AKA the Fed funds rate, they affect the 10-year treasury yield. And the 10-year treasury yield affects long-term fixed interest rates, like the 30-year fixed rate mortgage rates. So every time the Fed increases short-term interest rates, it affects the 10-year treasury yield, and then that affects the 30-year fixed rate mortgage. So every time Fed raises those interest rates, typically what happens is shortly following that, 30-year fixed rate mortgage rates go up. But the same thing happens when the Fed reduces short-term interest rates. At some point in the future, they will. Right now, they won't. The Fed just met last week and they did not increase short-term interest rates in their May meeting. But they did set the stage for two more rate increases of 25 basis points for the remainder of 2023. So they're gonna keep increasing short-term interest rates to fight inflation. See, inflation is 4% right now. Now it has come down about 5% from its high water mark in June of 2022 when it was 9%. So it's definitely coming down. It's just not at 2% where the Fed would like it to be at. So they're gonna keep raising interest rates in order to bring inflation down and bring price stability to our economy. In the meantime, a guy like me who has bought his dream house is saying to himself, will it get worse? Will home prices continue to fall? Now here in the state of Florida, at least in my opinion, at least where I live, home prices have been pretty flat. They haven't increased, they haven't really decreased. But will they? A lot of the articles I've read and a lot of the people that I listen to when it comes to the housing market are saying, depending upon where you live, prices have already come down dramatically. If you live in Austin, Texas, Boise, Idaho, San Francisco area, some of the places where, you know, that pandemic housing boom really took off, those places have already come down, you know, 10%, 15%. Some areas of Florida have not come down. Like the area I live in has really not come down. Like I said earlier, it's pretty flat. But the question is, will it come down? And, and should I prepare ahead of time? Over the last 25 years investing in real estate, the thing that's always protected me is buying in the right location. And I believe the dream house is in the right location. So I think I'm insulated and protected. Now, can it go down 5%? Can it go down 10% in value temporarily? Absolutely. Will I panic? No because I've been through this before. Like I said, I've been doing this for 25 years, buying real estate in, 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 in desirable locations. And as long as it's in a desirable location, you typically will recover at some point. Yep, could it, could it decline in value for two years, three years? Absolutely. But it always bounced back if it's in the right location. And I believe that to hold true anywhere in the country. If it's in a desirable location where people have a desire to live, it will come back. Another thing that's affecting real estate home prices is big corporations buying up single family homes. Corporations like BlackRock. It's a trend right now where you're starting to see corporations get into the real estate game and the single family home real estate game and they're starting to buy up large chunks of single family homes. They're actually starting to do new construction of single family homes as well. And what they're doing is, is they're just buying up and building single family homes and putting them in a portfolio and they're renting these homes to people who cannot afford to buy right now. See, here's the thing. If someone wants to be in a location, they got two choices. They can either buy in that location or they can rent in that location. 
And some of these desirable areas like where I live, maybe people can't come up with the down payment or maybe they can't afford the monthly payment. So what do they in turn do? They rent in that location. And these major corporations like BlackRock know that. Now that's not all BlackRock does. That's just a small part of their business, but it's a growing part of their business. It's a profitable part of their business. I looked at a statistic that said that on their single family home portfolio, BlackRock did a, like an eight and a half percent return in 2022. You got to think about the overall stock market was a negative 19.5 percent return so they made out like bandits on this residential single family home portfolio and i think the largest company out there um has about eighty thousand of these single family homes in their portfolio and so it's it's a growing trend but but that's driving up prices as well because of course if you are a seller of a property in a desirable location and you got a corporation coming in making a cash offer very attractive close in seven days or you got somebody over here says hey i want the house and i but i got to get financed and i won't close for 45 days in most cases the corporation is going to beat you every time why because they got cash and they can close quickly and that's what sellers want. So that's starting to drive up prices in some parts of the country as well. But far as I'm concerned with what I'm doing, whether I'm selling my house or not, I'm not gonna sell the dream house, I'm gonna stay here. And if I take a 5% or a 10% hit on it temporarily, so be it. That's why you gotta have cash reserves. You gotta have investments. You gotta have a high income skill set to be able to generate and make money so that if you do buy things that you want to buy and the market turns on you temporarily, it doesn't affect you as much. Now, I don't want to sit here and make a dumb decision, but I believe this is the right location and I believe this house will hold its value and increase in value over time, especially when interest rates start coming down over the next couple of years, this property will skyrocket in value. And another thing, it's in an area where Really, people don't worry about what's going on with the stock market that much. Why? Because they've already built their wealth and they're normally in the enjoyment stage of wealth, like I am. So they already have cash reserves. They already have investments. They already have uh, their debt free and things of that nature. So that doesn't really bother people buying in areas like this. But for a lot of parts of the country where middle class folks are buying, it's a problem. It's affordability problem. Interest rates are too high monthly payments are too high. So people are starting to rent and companies like BlackRock are taking advantage of that and investing heavily in single family home real estate. Drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about my decision to keep the dream house. Now, like I said, I purchased it a couple months ago and um, I didn't pay a premium for it. I actually paid under what the seller was asking and they accepted the deal. So I provided myself some cushion right there. And I believe the house is still holding its value. Everything I look at says it's holding its value and I believe that. Will it decrease? Maybe. But again, that's not gonna bother me. I'm gonna stay where I'm at because I believe in the location, not the house. I believe in the location and this location will hold its value. If you want up the 12 free stocks, Click on that link down in the description box. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Get yourself off the sideline. Get in the game. Start buying some assets. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. Share the video. Smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business.
If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.